Hello, my name is Matt Ryan. I'm a product marketing manager at Google Cloud who's focused on business intelligence. I thought there'd be no better place to begin our Innovator Tech Talk series than by bringing on two members of Looker's product team to give an explanation of the Looker difference. If your organization is investing in cloud databases or using BigQuery, please consider connecting with your Google Cloud Customer Success Manager or member of our field team to get started using Looker. This is a replay of one of our keynotes from Looker's annual user conference join. Please welcome Ani Jane and Tej Tor. Over to you. Welcome, ladies. Hi, everyone. Thank you for taking the time and joining us today. We are super excited to be here today and talk to you about the Looker difference. But first, let us introduce ourselves. My name is Ani Jain. I'm an outbound product manager at Looker, and I'm joined by my colleague, Tej Tour. Tej, do you want to introduce yourself? Sure. Thanks, Ani. Hi, my name is Tej Tour, and I'm a product manager on the BI team at Looker. Awesome. So before we go into the product, um, I wanted to talk to you about how data has changed our lives. Over the past couple of decades, the way we experience data has fundamentally changed our lives, be it Google Maps, be it Alexa, be it Fitbit, and so many more. These are the point solutions in right in time for data insights. And as working remotely becomes more of a reality, this trend will push businesses to adapt to new employee expectations and their need for productivity. And businesses will just have to rethink BI. Let's say when we sit down to watch our favorite streaming service or when we're navigating traffic or we're working out or we're shopping online, we don't really think about data when we're doing these activities because data has fundamentally become just an essential part of our lives. And then this is exactly what we need to bring to our work environment as well. This moment is an enormous opportunity to completely transform the way millions of people work with data. Now, one of the BI industry analysts, Doug Henshin, who's the vice president and principal analyst for the analyst firm Constellation Research, recently published a paper. In his research paper, he mentions the importance of data-driven decision-making. According to him, the digital leaders recognize that data-driven decisions can greatly improve the user experience and speed up decision-making, monetize valuable data, and unleash new business opportunities. And Looker fits perfectly into the data-driven insights. Looker's mission statement is to empower people through the smarter use of data. And this wonderfully aligns with Google's mission statement which is to organize the world's information and make it universally accessible and useful. So the value of data is no longer a debate, but data just isn't making some of the mundane tasks less time and mind consuming. For some, it's increasingly becoming a part of their workflow. So for example, product managers like us can now better understand product usage to know when and where we need to invest in and what are the different opportunities for expansion to delight current customers and to attract new ones? So with that in mind, we spoke to our customers and realized that they have three core business needs, faster time to value, easy ways to find data-driven insights, and access to insights when and where they need them. And this is where we, the Looker BI team, have been focusing and investing heavily. Now, Tej will walk you through some of the great things we have been doing in the product in these three key areas. Tej, over to you. Thanks, Ani. I'm excited to share a bit about how the Looker product is innovating across the dimensions Ani identified, starting with how we've made it faster than ever to find insights in Looker. To begin, we've made it faster to get to content you care about with the launch of our enhanced navigation experience. The new interface offers a convenient sidebar, which provides quick and easy access to your recently viewed content, your favorited content, your boards, and folders. This means that if you're on one dashboard and want to hop over to another one, which say is a dashboard you favorited or visited recently, you can do that directly from the sidebar without having to navigate through any intermediate pages. 
You can also use the sidebar to scan through contents of folders, making it much faster to get to that one dashboard you're looking for in your team shared folder, for example. And once you get to that dashboard, you can go ahead and collapse the sidebar until you need it again, so you can focus more on the content and less on the Chrome. So enhanced navigation offers tremendous efficiency improvements, which is wonderful. But I'm particularly excited to share that we've coupled these efficiency improvements with performance improvements and are thrilled that switching between key pages is up to five times faster with the new navigation. The new navigation amplifies the usefulness of boards, a valuable organizational tool. For anyone who may be unfamiliar with boards, boards are essentially curated sets of content. Whereas a dashboard can only live in one single folder, a dashboard can be pinned to any number of boards, allowing for tremendous flexibility. You can divide a board into different sections, each with its own description, to help orient the end user to what's included on the board. Boards can also be set as home pages for specific groups of users based on user attributes. So for example, if you have a board with a bunch of content relevant to sales managers, as depicted in the example here, you can very easily set that up to be the Looker homepage for all sales managers in your org. That way, when a new sales manager joins the team and hops into Looker for the first time, she'll immediately see content that's relevant to her and her job. So with the launch of Enhanced Navigation, boards have become even more useful because you can now move between different sections of a board and access the content within it directly from the main sidebar without even having to load the full board page. So if there's content you use a lot, put it on a board. It will make it so much easier for you and others to come back to it. But Enhanced Navigation isn't the only thing that's gotten better about boards. You can now pin any link to a board whether it's a dashboard, a look, an explore, or something else, including external links. So as you can see in the sales manager board here, it contains not only dashboards, but links to data apps and explorers that are relevant to sales managers. So the board truly functions as a central hub for thematic content and tools. Our navigation enhancements have made it faster and easier to get around the product, but we've invested in making your analyses faster as well. We've introduced quick starts to make it faster than ever to explore in Looker, whether you're a seasoned analyst or a brand new Looker user. Quick starts allow you to provide your Looker users one-click access to some of the most common queries. They appear on the Explore page, as pictured here, so you can just click one of the thumbnails and land right into an Explore with fields and filters already pre-populated to provide particular insights. For users who are not super familiar with Looker's data exploration interface, Quick starts can be incredibly valuable in offering them a pre-built starting point that they can then tweak, adding and removing fields and changing filters as needed to find the exact answer they're looking for. We've also heard that people who use the Explore page all day every day love quick starts as well and use them to save templates for types of analyses they find themselves building over and over. Using quick starts enables them, for example, to avoid having to configure the same sets of filters repeatedly instead allowing them to just save those configurations in a quick start to grab and go as needed. So you've built that analysis and now you wanna share it. We're also making it faster and easier than ever to save content and make it available to others. Now, when saving an analysis as a new dashboard, you'll be able to select which of the filters from your analysis you want to make available as global filters on that dashboard. Looker will also automatically select the best filter styles to apply on the dashboard based on the types of filters you've selected. We're also offering easier layout options, so you can spend more time on insights and less time on formatting. At Looker, we realize that everyone can benefit from data, whether or not you're in an analytical role. And that's why we're making it easier for anyone to find meaningful insights in their data. So we love model data at Looker, of course, but we also realize that not everything belongs in the model specifically if it's a metric or calculation to support a one-off particular analysis. We are so excited about a number of improvements to on-the-fly fields and calculations, many of which we've launched already this year and several that we're continuing to roll out. With the addition of quick calculations, any user on the Explore page can easily apply a common table calculation to their results from the data table itself without requiring any understanding of the data model or custom syntax. We've made it faster and easier to create other types of on-the-fly fields as well. Suppose your data is listed by state, but you actually think about things in terms of regions. Our new grouping functionality provides a familiar and intuitive interface to dynamically group fields based on the rules you define. 
We've already seen a huge uptick in the number of less technical users who are taking advantage of this feature, and we are thrilled to empower more people to be able to view data in a way that makes the most sense to them. We've made it easier not just to interact with data and build your analysis, but to find meaning in it. Trendlines, now generally available, make it easy to bring advanced insights into your visualizations with a number of different trend type options, including linear, logarithmic, polynomial, moving average, and more. And for users who want to look beyond their data, our new in-product forecasting tool does just that. With just a few clicks, you can now easily add data projections to your Explorer query to predict trends and monitor specific data points. Anyone can configure the forecasting model through this simple UI with the ability to specify forecast length, define the bounds of forecasted data values, and choose whether or not to include seasonality. No exports to spreadsheets or complex formulas required. And in the spirit of making more powerful insights available to everyone, we realize that not everyone thinks about data in terms of fields and filters, dimensions and measures. So often, people just simply want the answer to a specific question. To that end, we are thrilled to announce Ask Looker, a natural language interface for asking and answering questions of Looker data. Ask Looker provides users with an entirely new way to interact with Looker, but still sits atop your trusted model data sets. And as you can see in the example here, makes it very clear exactly what is being used to provide the results shown. So there's no black box, but it's still pretty magical. You can also configure synonyms to make sure that Ask Looker is truly speaking the language of your organization. Ask Looker isn't the only new experience we're providing to interact with your data. Leveraging a familiar question and answer interface, guided analyses offer a new take on data exploration that is intuitive enough to be used by anyone. These curated analytical experiences are supported by extensive configurability under the hood, allowing you to customize templates for common analytical patterns to meet the needs of your business users, who can then use the guided analyses to quickly, flexibly, and easily ask and answer questions of their data. And with that, I'll pass it back to Ani to talk about some of the capabilities we're investing in to make data more ubiquitous than ever. Thanks, Sage. And finally, Looker has really invested not just in making data available to anyone, but also making it available anywhere, including in the applications of your choice. So this year, we released a native mobile app for both iOS and for Android. And this was a big deal for us because in today's digital world, we access data at all times, no matter where we are. We all rely on our mobile devices today, especially for getting insights and information about things that we really care about. And we expect the same experience while we work. So this Looker mobile app has an intuitive design for quick data access. It has enterprise level security with QR code authentication, biometric authentication, and user level permissions. You can easily share the content with one tap right from your device. And more importantly, it's available in 21 languages, which is amazing. Now, if you want to learn more about Looker's mobile app and everything that it can do, I highly recommend that you attend the session Introducing Looker Mobile here at Join at Home. So we made it easier for you to find your data anywhere you are, but we're also making it easier for your data to find you when you need it. With Enhanced Alerts, alerts are more powerful than ever before, and now they stay in sync with dashboard edits. And we're also offering API access to alerts as well, so developers can build on top of them. And coming next year, we're excited to offer mobile alerts, so you'll never have to miss an important notification. So that is something the team is working on, and we are super excited to bring it to you in 2022. We're also making it easier for users to continue using the applications they are familiar with, along with Looker. As you all know, Looker's platform offers a unified surface to access the truest, most up-to-date version of your company's data. Looker's semantic model standardizes common metrics and definitions for business users across multiple Google applications like Sheets and Slides. So now, users who are using Sheets and Slides can easily import governed and secure data from Looker and perform their analysis without leaving their application. So you can access your organization's trusted data from Looker in Sheets and Slides, the applications of your choice. 
So these integrations will be available for use in 2022 and we are very, very excited to work on them and bring them to you next year. Now that we have spoken about our customer needs and the work we're doing in all these key areas, we also wanted to talk to you about our package solution and how you can accelerate your business with them. Now that Looker is a part of Google Cloud, we are working really hard at integrating across Google products and solutions so we can accelerate value for you by delivering data experiences that help you take action, optimize your workflows, and augment your analytics. First, we're helping you act more efficiently with Looker for Google Marketing Platform with an expanded offering for analyzing and activating customer-centric data with new out-of-the-box analytics for Google Analytics 4 and new activation points for Google Ads via Customer Match. In addition, for businesses running on SAP, Looker can now help customers understand their business better and create actionable insights to meet evolving needs and prepare for upcoming realities like new supply chain delivery channels, customer safety expectations, location services, finance models, and much more. Second, we're helping you optimize your current and future investments with our recently launched multi-cloud cost management block for granular visibility into cloud spend and BI capabilities for billing needs. And we have log analytic solutions, allowing customers to apply business value and meaning to their log data at scale across the company and across data volumes. Third, we also have new ways to help you expand the impact of augmented analytics powered by Google Cloud. We're expanding our support for contact center AI, allowing you to more quickly visualize, analyze, and build on data from cost centers AI's new insights export to BigQuery with new looker blocks for insights and agent assist. Also, customer leveraging Google Cloud's new healthcare NLP API that turns raw patient notes into structured data can now quickly surface that data within context of all of their healthcare data. So with each of these updates, we're working to make augmented analytics a reality for more users by helping you leverage the power of advanced analytics from Google. So we're continuing to innovate on the core Looker product, as well as these type of integrations across Google to help you more easily leverage the benefits of a unified, intelligent ecosystem. Tej, back to you. As Ani mentioned at the start, the way people use data and people's expectations of data are fundamentally evolving. As a Looker product, we have been proud to stay not just ahead of, but on top of these trends to continue to offer differentiated value. Thanks for listening, and we look forward to your questions.